what kind of inclusion would there be? Because I think that it does get dominated by the top 10. Wow, this is all of a sudden becoming like a city council meeting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. It's it's not even me no, complaining. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, obviously I, I personally would respect the main idea of a festival. If a festival is supposed to be, let's say, then dances, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be for danceable type of music, like Dane dances, I would say like, oh, yeah, makes sense, right? Yeah. Diversity is diversity in the programming of uh, festivals that we have here. If we're going to have a danceable um, fest, like Dane dances or African fest, why don't we have a hip hop fest? Yeah. Why don't we have, right, a polka general type of fest? Yeah. Like maybe for some festivals, it's, it's okay to respect the genre. It's okay to, to respect that they need certain type of um, music and style. That's totally acceptable. Mm -hmm. But as a whole, looking at the um, bigger uh, scheme of things is how we diversify in the programming in general. For example, uh, we have um, Sylvie, right? So this big venue, amazing venue. They're not gonna bring just rock or pop music. Yeah. We will encourage them to bring a very diverse type of musicians, a very diverse audience. So we see a mix of people participating and enjoying the the concerts. So that's the type of diversity that, that I'm talking about and inclusion. If, if you go to uh, Dane Dances, and this is something that I that I love, it's my favorite fest, is that you see um, different skin colors, mm. different accents, different um, uh, uh, cultures within Dane Dances. Mm -hmm. But if you go to uh, Fed the Market, you see more white people and very, very few um, persons of color. So what's what what's happening there? Maybe we can add within their programming some some other uh, music styles that might fit within their idea of Fed the Market, right? Which I know it's very European, but maybe we can add some other rhythms that uh, involved um, a, a genre that might bring people of color. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 a bigger discussion and that will have to be uh, in collaboration with the organizers. Yeah. Um, so but you know those those are the types of conversations that we would have to go through. Uh, the idea is that this group that I was talking about, the Greater Madison Music City, um, can have conversations with the public and public that really represents the city. We are are uh, a nation that has at least 13% of our population are people of color, right? You have 6% African Americans or 7% Hispanics, right? So we have to involve them. They are part of of the city. So um, having those conversations and, and and figure out a plan, figure out a, a way to to um, make um, the music sector more inclusive and uh, sustainable for for musicians. Um, and and that, that was actually the, the reason why I found you was because a year ago, I would say, um, I googled <laughs> how can you make a living uh, in music in Madison and I found you because you did? I think that, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to Google you. that later and find out what that's all about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because um, there is a sentence that you have or your vision is, uh, an artist making a living in Madison. Okay, yeah. Something, something like that, and and, and that's why I, I followed you and I subscribed to your uh, listserv and all that, uh, because we're looking for that that, that kind of um, voice. Like I, I would love you to be involved in this uh, process. Um, okay. And because yeah, there are, we want to find out. We want to find out ways to. Uh, or ideas to 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 know how to really make a living as an artist as a musician in Madison. 